vida. Não vai ter um bafo que não ia ter aqui. Até que, ao dia que eu havia feito a concepção de Mocamé, eu dei a olhar que vi e vi assim. Olha, de plano da Zona. Olha, eu apliquei e foi a romper a gravidez. I am here to help you. तो चलो फिर शुरू करते हैं आज के टॉपिक्स में डिटर्मिनेंट सीरीज में हम देख रहे हैं एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डिटर्मिनेंट एंड इन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डिटर्मिनेंट्रांगल एंड कोलिनियरिटी ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट सो यूजिंग डिटर्मिनेंट हाउ टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल दैट विल बी सेम एंड हाउ टू डिजाइन और हाउ टू चेक द कोलिनियरिटी ऑफ फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट सो लेट सी सो सपोज हमें ट्राइंगल दिया गया है सपोज वी हैव अ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी विथ वर्टाइस टू से एक्स वन वाई वन बी एक्स टू वाई टू सी एक्स थ्री वाई टू देन द एरिया ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल इज गिवन ऑन हाफ टाइम्स द डिटर्मिनेंट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वन वाई वन वन एक्स टू वाई टू वन एक्स थ्री वाई टू एंड वन सो ये दिस इज अरम स्टेटमेंट विच टेल्स एस the area of a triangle now why how this uh, formula is de uh, derived so basically we know given a three points a b and c of a triangle so let's drop lines from these particular vertices suppose from point a i drop a point on x axis at some point say p i drop a point from b at some point r and from point c at some point say q okay so now area of a triangle abc can be represented as sum of this trapezium if you observe this is nothing but formed a trapezium a p uh, p a c q ye ek trapezium form ho raha so area of a trapezium BACQ plus there is one more trapezium. Kya hai wo trapezium? Say QCBR is a trapezium. So addition of this, so area of trapezium QCBR. एंड इन दोनों में से हम सब्जैक्ट करें क्या करेंगे वी कैन सब्ट्रैक्ट द ट्रेपेजियम पी ए बी आर सो सब्ट्रैक्टिंग दिस ट्रेपेजियम पी ए बी आर वी विल गिव विल गेट दिस ट्राइंगल सो माइनस एरिया ऑफ ट्रेपेजियम पी ए बी आर so according to the area of a trapezium formula ye kya ho jayega ye ho jayega half times p into q into pq into ap plus cq right so ye ek trapezium form ho raha hai so by trapezium formula p a c q ke liye kya ho jayega pq into ap plus cq Similarly, plus second trapezium है Q B Q C B R. So according to the area of a trapezium formula, this is going to be half times Q R into Q C plus B R minus the second third trapezium we have P A B R. So ये होगा according to the formula half times B R into A P plus B R. And now using substituting this for this is nothing but PQ is a line, and we know how to find the value of line. So line, मतलब ये points PQ क्या होगे? This is nothing but the point x one uh, and this is point x three. So ये क्या हो जाएगा? X three minus x one difference between the two points on a straight line. So Accordingly, substitute करोगे तो यहाँ पे हो जाएगा half x3 minus x1 into AP क्या है 
AP is a point this line so you have to come here y1 minus 0 to you have to y1 plus you have to come y3 minus 0 to y2 similarly you in equations to substitute for the half times so what will happen x2 minus x3 into y2 plus y3 and minus half times you have x2 minus x1 into y1 plus y2 and now evaluating this equation further we get an equation mil jayega, that will be of the form say half times sum x1 into y2 minus y3 minus x2 times y1 minus y3 plus x3 times y1 minus y2 and so if you observe this is nothing but a derivation or you can say full form or uh, evaluated value of a determinant so you can express this as a determinant form and the determinant form can be written as half times this is x1 x2 x3 you can say is of course to x1 x2 x3 y2 minus y3 so you have to add like y2 minus y3 so you have y1 y2 and this is y3 and this is going to be nothing but the row one okay shifting or you can see interchanging the rows to columns you can express this as in this form half times x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 such is the way we get the value or the uh, equation for to find the area of a triangle by using the determinant. Okay, so uh, let us note down some points. We always we remember we know that area of a triangle is a positive quantity. So even though if you get a value as some negative, say 15, negative 18, the value is absolute with consider the absolute value of a determinant second area since area is given if area is given consider both positive and negative values of the determinant for the calculation of unknown coordinates and suppose we are given, we are given some particular points say a k comma 0 b point is to some 2 comma 3 c point is 0 comma 1 now here a is a uh, k is a constant term k is a coordinate which is constant whose value we don't know so in such case we have, what do we do we can and we know the area of that particular triangle and we need to find this value of the constant so to whenever such case arise consider the given area of a triangle in both positive and negative term because we know that when we area calculate karte, hum wo, wo se, wo negative value k may be sakta hai, ya phir positive form may be sakta hai. So when you are considering when you are when we are given area of triangle and find we have to find a particular coordinate by consider both negative and positive forms. Then third remark to note down is if area of a triangle is zero, we observe the area of a triangle is zero, then the given three points are always collinear. And if it is non-zero, the points are non-collinear. Let's move on to solving few examples based on this. So, given is the question is find the area of a triangle whose vertices are A, B, and C vertices. B is a point 5,8, B is 5,0, and C is 1,0. So, these are the given coordinates we have. So, given is say x1, y1, x1, y1 kya diya gaya hai 5,8 x2 y2 is given as 5 comma 0 and x3 y3 is given as 1 comma 0 these are the three coordinates given and we know so we know area of a triangle how to how is a formula given as to find area of a triangle ABC is half times determinant of x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1, 
x3 y3 y so just substituting the values here this is going to be half times 5 8 1 5 0 1 1 0 1 and half times 5 into 0 minus 0 minus 8 times 5 minus 1 plus 1 times 0 minus 0 so ye to 0 hai ye bhi 0 hai this is going to be half times minus 8 into 5 minus 4 so the 5 into 2 4 is 42 this is going to be minus 16 but we know even though it is negative we consider the absolute value so therefore area of a given triangle ABC is going to be 16 square units. Now remember one thing. This is the outer triangle we have considered in the form ABC. Suppose we just uh, consider the vertices in the order say ACB. Okay, ACB or vertices ke order may consider karenge. So kya ho jayega? This triangle we originally have considered ABC. Suppose now we consider in form ACB. Okay, so opposite orientation may agar hum consider karenge or check karenge area of a triangle kya milta hai. So in opposite orientation area of a triangle kya hoga say we are considering ACB. So as per the formula this is going to be A that is 5811101501. And now if you evaluate this is going to be 5 times 0 my half. I am sorry. 0 minus 0 minus 8 times 1 minus 5 plus 1 times 0 minus 0. So this is going to be half times. Ye to 0 hai. Ye bhi 0 hai. Minus 4 and minus 8. This is going to be 32 and this is going to be 16. So if you observe we get the value same but no negatives and that is positive sign. So this tells us if you consider the opposite orientation, then the area of the sign of the area of the triangle changes. So this just correlates with one of our rules which we have discussed, which is if you interchange two rows of a determinant, then the value of the uh, the sign of the uh, value of the determinant also changes. So here if you observe, how many kya second and third row interchange ho gaya yaha pe and since it is interchange hamara value mein jo sign hai wo change ho gaya so here it was negative we observe we got positive but the value remains the same that is 16 it's just a difference in sign so this is one more example now here it says find the value for k if the area of a triangle whose vertices are given and its area of triangle we have we are given we need to know what is the value of this constant k so what is given given is x1 y1 that is k comma 0 x2 y2 that is 2 comma 2 and x3 y3 that is 4 comma 2 this is given and also we know that area of a triangle here P Q R is given as 3 by 2. Sorry. Ye diya gaya hai. So as per the formula we can say area of a triangle hume pata hota hai. Area of a triangle kya hoga according to the formula. Half times x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 and x3 y3 1. That and its value given as 3 by 2. So now evaluating on left hand side, we'll get some equation in form of k and then evaluating that equation, we will get a particular value of k. So let's just substitute the values here it will be on f uh, half times determinant p01, then 2, 2, 1, 4, 3, 1 equals to 3 by 2. So this becomes half times k into 2 minus 3 minus 0 into anything is going to be 0 to to 0 hoga, plus 1 times 6 minus 8 is equal to 3 by 2 
बोथ द साइड सेट इज हार्ड टू द डिनोमिनेटर इज कैंसिल हो जाएगा ये रहेगा नाउ हियर फॉर दी वन द वर्क फॉर पार्ट वन थिंग वी हैव सीन अ प्रॉपर्टी और द रिमार्क जस्ट नाउ व्हिच सेज व्हेनेवर यू हैव वी हैव टू यू हैव टू फाइंड अ वैल्यू ऑफ अ कोऑर्डिनेट द पर्टिकुलर एंड एरिया ट्रायंगल इज गिवन कंसीडर इट एज पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव फॉर्म सो ये पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव फॉर्म में हम वैल्यू कंसीडर करेंगे ओके सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव 3 बाय 2 तो टू कैंसिल होके ये क्या हो जाएगा 2 minus this that is minus k 6 minus 2 that is 6 minus this that is minus 2 equals to plus or minus 3 so since it is plus or minus 3 we can here it will become minus k minus 2 equals to either 3 or minus k minus 2 equals to minus 3 and therefore we'll get two values for k first value kya hogi minus 2 shift karoge to positive hoga 3 plus 2 minus k equals to 3 plus 2 hoga whereas yahan pe hoga minus k equals to minus 3 plus 2 so it will be 3 plus 2 5 but there is a negative sign so k ki value hogi minus 5 or here it is minus 1 minus 1 and minus 3 cancel hoga k ki value 1 so the k value for k is going to be either 1 or minus Which will, which on substituting will give us the value of the area of a triangle as three by two square cubed. Let's discuss one more example. Now this says examine the collinearity of the following set of points. So we have given a vertices of a triangle ABC, and we have to check the collinearity. So means examine the collin means what? अगर इस area इस triangle का area अगर zero आता है, so these points are going to be collinear. And if it is non-zero, these points are said to be, or vertices are going said to be non-collinear. So again, to check the collinearity, we need to find the area of a triangle, etc. So what is the given thing? We are given the vertices, we are given the points, say x1, y1 as three comma five, x2, y2 as six comma one, sorry, and X three Y three as four comma two. Area of a triangle ABC is half times X one Y one and X two Y two one X three Y three one. Substituting the values, you have got half times three minus five one. Six one one four two one, and evaluating this now, this is going to be three times one minus two minus minus plus over five times six minus four plus one times six twelve minus four. Evaluating this, we have got to have minus one to minus three plus six minus four is two into five ten. Twelve minus four, that is plus eight. This is going to be half times minus three plus ten, that is seven. Seven plus eight, it is going to be fifteen. This is so. If we observe here, the value is fifteen by two, which is not equal to zero. So, given set of points. Given set of points are non-collinear since we observe the value is non-zero. If zero is there, so we say the points are said to be collinear. Linear. Sorry. So this was for all about about all about our today's topic, where we spoke about one more application of a determinant that is to find the area and to check the collinearity of given set of points. So ये था आज के लिए मिलते हैं वक्त अगले वीडियो में ऐसे ही नए टॉपिक थिंग्स के साथ नए कॉन्सेप्ट के साथ तब तक के लिए प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक यू